previously on the Youth Edition. Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Edition. It's Oldham Athletic, it's Dylan Allen on a quest for Champions League glory. It's time to sit back, relax, and get in that comfy chair, put it on the big screen TV, crack your favorite beverage, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode. FIFA 19 here with Oldham Athletic. We sit in 12, four games into our first season here in the Championship. One win, which was against Portsmouth. Two draws and a loss. We've only picked up five goals so far this season. We need to find an, another few ways to score here. Obviously coming up against some uh, tougher opponents, some tougher defenders, and uh, we just have not been getting the job done to get the victories. But our defense has been okay. Uh, with only the one loss, obviously knocked out of the Carabao Cup. That was the reserves team. We've got a couple of weeks left in the transfer window. We've got about nine million to play with, but no real players out there at the moment that either we can afford or the ones we can afford, you know, really it'd rather leave those those opportunities for youth players to come through from the academy. So let's jump into this episode. We'll see if any other transfer action does. If you know we manage to sell off another big player, well then we'll have to go and buy another big player. But let's jump into it though with a player upgrade. All right, today's player upgrade is for one of our new centre-backs in Giron Jelly. Uh, this one comes from the Turing Bus. Thank you very much for your comment. 48 thumbs up at the time of recording this one. Uh, you've gone with the number 90 because Italy hosted the 1990 World Cup. Okay, I mean, I don't have an issue with high numbers. Uh, red and green tape, that's fair enough. Uh, the Pantafola Superleggera boots, which we have found. Uh, they are Italian, which looks cool. Uh, medium socks and an untucked tight shirt. So he's ready to go. He slipped into the first team quite nicely. Nice and tall and, and aggressive. Uh, only showing great potential. I thought he might have been a little bit higher than that, but that's fine. Uh, he's got the stats and, and, and the body and the build that I was looking for uh, for this back line. So let's jump into this episode. Right, first game of the episode, we're taking on West Brom at the Hawthorns. Both teams playing in their away kit, and this is the kind of time in at the career mode where you kind of wish that some of these uh, League 2 teams had the opportunity to add a third kit because West Brom are blue and white, we're blue and white, and, and the only way I can sort of get it happening here is by putting West Brom in their away kit as well. So let's jump into this game. The first team will roll out here, and hopefully we can get some points on the road. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real stadium and it is match day number five. We are on the road here at West Brom and uh, we are here at the Hawthorne. So, uh, Oldham Athletic, you know, a steady start to the championship season. We would have liked probably to turn a couple of those draws into victories, but we've got another opportunity here today. Will the boys get firing? We're looking for, you know, just a, just a little something. Uh, Dylan Allen maybe looking to maneuver some of his tactics and the likes, but... Uh, we'll just roll with what we've got at the moment. It's a player debut here for West Brom in Carlin's Arcus. Okay, a defender, 25 years of age. We'll have to worry about him possibly. Let's get into this game. It's Cameron Griffiths. Trying to find himself a little bit of an opening and he finds Elfie Lee. He'll slip one forward. Laura Bernard into the box. Cuts back nicely. Tries to bring it forward. Takes the strike himself. A good save from the West Brom keeper in Johnstone. The help here from Olsen inside. Alfie Lee tries to take his man on, and it's a deflection from the defence. We will get a corner here for Oldham Athletic. Nard to look for some tall timber in the box. Comes out the back door. Cameron Griffiths. Alfie Lee! Oh! Funny hell, he's hit the sidebar. And cleared away for a corner. Cameron Griffiths lays off. Here is Bernard. Set something up. Plays it inside, Garen has got forward. And the big Italian has scored! Oh my days! What's a signing from Dylan Allen? It's the huge lad in his new number and his new kit. And he finds himself a debut goal. Look at him, he's a fucking man mounted. And oh, he's just played like a fucking striker. Bernard picks him out perfectly. He dribbles around his man, smashes it in off the crossbar. It's 1-0 to Oldham Athletic. And the big Italian has found himself a goal. 
Joel Edwards ducking for cover, does enough to put off the goalkeeper. And it's 1-0 to the Laddox here at the Hawthorns. Dylan Allen loves it. Plays forward, Cameron Griffiths finds Guerin. Opens up the angle, blocked by Ferguson. Oldham really putting the pressure on here. A lot of shots, a lot of corners. Alfie Lee delivers this one long. Was Cole getting up? Out the back door. Falls to Guerin. Cuts back. Plays it off. Griffiths. Coe slips forward. Here's the strike. It's another fucking sidebar. Big work from Guerin Jelly. And at half time, he has the goal. It's 1 0 to Oldham. Bernard plays through. Griffiths back to Bernard. And it's a good save. 60% possession for Oldham. They're thoroughly in control here. Bernard to drive forward. And Coe! Oh! Like, how is he not fucking offside? Oh, that is bullshit. I mean, I was absolutely convinced that the lad was offside. And he's just slipped through like a hot knife in butter and beaten Cooper. It's 1 1. West Brom have come from fucking nowhere to steal a goal there at home. Let's have a look here. He has run through. He is completely offside. Everyone's calling offside. And he's allowed to play on, play through, beats Cooper. No chance in stopping that. He's gone nice and high. Oh, that's actually coming off fucking Cooper's face, the poor lad. And it's 1-1. He just cannot break the lines at the moment here, Guerin. Rough start to the championship for our star striker. Alfie Lee plays it forward. Cameron Griffiths finds Guerin. Does his man in, but then just gets picked off. He's getting out muscled. Right, two changes here. It's Gambridge and Binhammer checking in for Alfie Lee and Cameron Griffiths. Oh, Garen Jelly, you've given it away! You've done a fucking Noah White! And West Brom, who do not deserve a single fucking point in this game, take the lead in the 84th minute. It was a simple circle clearance. And what the fuck is that? You've just handed it to him on a silver plate. Oh, that is woeful. Cooper left with his pants around his ankles and it's 2-1 in favour of West Brom. Well, there is the whistle. It's a heartbreaking loss because we thoroughly controlled that game. And a couple of fuck-ups at the back and it's a 2-1 loss. 15 shots to four and we go down 2-1. What a load of shit. Uh, fuck you, Jay Rodriguez. 8.6 there for Laurent Bernard with the assist. A 6-6 for Guerin. Only the one shot for him. He's just getting pushed and marked out of the game. And we're going to have to find something moving forward. Cameron Griffiths, an 8.1. An 8 for Elfie Lee. A 6-8 for Cooper. 6-9 for Barros. 8-2 for Guerin Jelly. Even though he scored a goal, he did give away the secondary goal. So don't know if he's worth that rating. A Klein only got a 6-6. Didn't even have a fucking touch. 7 for Olsen. I mean, our back line had just had no pressure. Uh, Coe there with an 8.3. Three key passes and two tackles. Edwards with a 7. A 5-4 for Binhammer. <sighs> Come on, boys. Turn it around. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Right, let's get some training in. Binhammer there working on his finishing up to a 66. Well, I've got a transfer offer in here for Evan Olsen. Uh, he's worth 1.7. Atletico Mineiro have come in with 1,650. No, thank you. Right, time for the second game of the episode. It's the final game before the transfer window shuts. We're taking on Charlton, who came up from League One with us. So we're on our home deck at Boundary Park. We need a victory. We need to find some goals. We need to push forward. And uh, hopefully we can get the job done here today at home. Let's do this, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at Boundary Park. Match day number six and desperate for a three-point game here. Taking on Charlton, who came up with us. They did finish top last season, but I think we've got the wood over them. We need to get a victory here. We need determination from this first 11. And we need to show something. We need to find Guerin. He's just not getting enough service, and any time he's near the ball, he's just getting smashed out of it. But Charlton are the low-scoring team, so that means they're going to punch in a few today, you'd feel. Let's get into this game and hope for three points. Cameron Griffiths, Bernard to Coe, to Cameron Griffiths to Alfie Lee! Oh, just give him a chance! 1 0 Oldham. Alfie Lee with his first goal of the season. If he gets his snip, he'll take the strike. And it's taken inside six minutes for us to find our first goal here at Boundary Park. Game at number six. A little bit of build up play there. Some good ticky tack football. Everyone getting involved. 
And Alfie Lee pulls the trigger, finds the back of the net, and it is 1-0 to the Laddox. Just the start we were looking for. Now we need to push on. Come on, lads. Nice play through, and takes the strike, but misses. Good block from Barros, but it's a corner here for Charlton. Pick it up, and does well, Cooper. There's one off for the captain, Barros. Drives his way forward, Lee. Quick touch on, Cameron Griffiths plays forward, needs square it. Oh, get in, son, come on. Bernard. Back for Elfie Lee. Oh, not close enough. Drives his way forward and then slips one out wide. It's a cracking ball for Joel Edwards, who keeps on running. And manages to keep this ball in. Joel Edwards with the delivery. No, picked off. Only out as far as Barros, though. He'll lay it off here for Coe. Needs a runner. Plays it forward. And that's not getting through to anyone. Olsen. Back to Coe. Plays one through. Cameron Griffiths lays off here as Elfie Lee. Oh, yeah, that's the goal. Elfie Lee with his second of the day. And it's fucking something special. 2-0 Oldham. Elfie Lee with something from downtown. Puts it in the back of the net with sincere brilliance. Coe punches forward. Cameron Griffiths with a quick touch on. Elfie Lee has a little bit of space. And oh, my days, he has absolutely legged that one. Just one touch, and then toe punts it. And that allows it to drop late. Just enough, beats the keeper, all ends up. It's 2-0 to the Laddox. A lovely goal from Elfie Lee. Oh, Edwards, there is the whistle. 2-0, Elfie Lee has been the destroyer. Edwards gets the run, and it's Il Young Ko, the big fucking Korean. Drives his way forward, looks to the back stick for Lauren Bernard. Can't finish. Out the back door, Co gets in. Bernard, play it forward, quick touch on, Elfie Lee. That's Edwards, inside, Guerin, oh, sidebar! Come on, give the man a goal! Plays it off, Elfie Lee, oh, Guerin, you're in the fucking way now. What is going on with the Cameron Bear assassin? Oh my days. Cameron Griffiths, lay it off, Elfie Lee, plays it through. Guerin, he's just being absolutely manhandled. Oh, lovely from Alfie Lee. He is on point. Plays it inside for Guerin. Oh, he's hit the fucking sidebar again. Well, three changes. Chimichuku, Martin and Gabrich check in for Guerin, Bernard and Griffiths. Alfie Lee has been moved to central attacking midfield. Seven minutes to go. He's looking for his hat trick. But he's got the skills to pay the bills. Co. Finds Elfie Lee, trying to work his way through the traffic. Still comes Elfie, Trill's trying Elfie Lee. He wants this, he's still going Elfie Lee. He's run out of juice, but he's still firing. He's still going Elfie. Here is Coe, lays it back off. Elfie Lee, can he find it? Drives his way forward, Elfie Lee! Oh, great save from Phillips. Well, there is the whistle. Elfie Lee takes down Charlton single-handedly. A 2-0 victory, three points that we were desperate for. Nine shots to one. Charlton had one shot for the day. So uh, we shut up shop. Cameron Griffiths with two assists and a 9.4. 7-2 there for Cooper. Only had to make the three saves, even though they only had one shot. 7-7 seven, seven there for Barros. A 7-6 for Girangeli with six interceptions. A 7-7 seven, seven there for Klein. 7-3 for Olsen. 6-1 for Gabrich. An 8-6 for Coe with six defensive efforts. 7-4 for Joel Edwards. A 9.1 for Elfie Lee with two cracking goals. 6 for Tommy Martin. 6-1 for Chimichuku. 6-9 for Guerin. Just can't get into the game at the moment. Uh, Bernard a 7.6. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Continuing our training and Giron Jelly up to a 76. Right, it is transfer deadline day and uh, we've got an offer in here for Moritz Klein. 19.4 million. He's only valued at 13, but I'm not selling him. See you later. Two transfer offers. One is for Jihu Jill from Racing Club for 5.5 million. And Cameron Griffiths, the Independente, is uh, coming with 11.9. So let's have a look at these offers. So Jihu Jill, that is a fairly decent offer for the Korean, but we will reject that. We we're putting in some work into the lat. And uh, Cameron Griffiths, well, I don't think you can get rid of him on the form. He started off with a couple of goals, a couple of assists, and that's probably why he's in hot demand, but we're going to reject that offer too. Two hours to go. We get an offer in here from San Martin for Moses Chimichuku. Only 1.2 million. 
Uh, it is more than his evaluation, but we can't afford to let any of our strike force go at the moment, so we'll reject. So transfer deadline day is done. We've completed our business for the uh, for the window. Uh, so we signed up uh, Rishi on the on the day dot of the season. Got him on a free. That is a really good purchase. Uh, Murphy's gone out on low. Tonev sold to St Mirren for 190 grand. Bratiano sold for 850. Roberts was sold to the MLS for just over a million. Uh, Lennon's gone out on loan once again. Kieran Jelly we picked up for only seven and a half million. I feel that is a steal. Uh, Nick Harris left. He went to Anderlex for 11.6 million. That's a, a big deal for Oldham. And uh, good luck to Nick Harris. Caesar goes to the Chinese league for 970. Millet leaves for 380. Wimmer goes out of the club as well for 660. Cartier leaves for 340. Delphis comes in from the MLS, the, uh, the Ibrahimovic regen, for only 1.2 million. And that is all of our business. Not a lot of signings, but probably key signings for the future. If they are good players, we will hold on to them. If not, you know they're going to grow, and we're going to be able to make some cash to really go and sign some of those big players that we probably will need, uh, looking at how we are traveling at the moment. Right, let's take a look at our current youth academy. Zaki Ohindi, 81 to 87. He's coming along, but nothing too flash just yet. Godwin Bada, well, he's still 86 to 92, 55 overall. And I mean, his finishing is only at 41. That needs to grow, so I'm going to leave him in the academy for now. But obviously, we know we can't leave him in there for too long uh, because sometimes they just fucking disappear. Uh, Ian Boy, 62 overall playmaker. Not sure we need him at this stage, 81 to 87, but we'll hold him there. Bury, 83 to 89, is probably not looking the hottest prospect, but you know, it's always good to have a goalkeeper in New York. Academy. Uh, Nicholas Carlson, I'm waiting for this lad. 59 overall already at 15 years of age. 83 to 94 potential right back. He's physically strong and uh, hopefully he can play left back as well. And then we also have Sampo Salo, 72 to 88, 57 overall right wing attacker. We'll have some more reports back very, very soon and possibly some signings just to help fill out this squad depth. Right, the scout ports are back in from Algeria. This is our second month here. We've still got Fatty Selmi, 76 to 94, 6 foot 5 and um, his valuation is quite low but you know that potential is still there so I might bring him into the academy on the next report and Ibrahim Taye is another lad that we've just scouted 71 to 94 potential somewhere there through the middle to centre back at 5 foot 11 we'll monitor them and uh, maybe make some signings uh, into our academy next month we are, of course, here in Colombia. We've still got Augustin Diaz, 67 to 87. And we've found Jose Bello, 76 to 94. We'll monitor these lads further. And we are, of course, in Mexico looking for goalkeepers. It's still Virgilio Oliveira, the pick of the crop, 69 to 89. Well, I was sure Guranjeli had gone to 76, but he's dropped back to 75. Love this game. Uh, let's get them uh, moving, though, with some training. And Co now up to a 72. Right, so I think we'll just have the two games in this one. Let's get in and do our uh, squad report as we finish off the transfer window. We've only got a squad of 31, so we'll probably have to look to bring in some Youth Academy talent just to help us out here a little bit and uh, concentrate on what, you know, if there's anything worth signing there in a January window. But, um... Yeah, let me know who you feel needs probably some training sessions to help bolster this team as well. Uh, obviously, I've been concentrating on trying to get the, the first 11 to 75, but um, it might be time to start pushing things up a little bit um, or maybe start training some of the reserves team to help strengthen the twos. Um, so we've got Cooper is a 73. Uh, Jill is up one to a 71. Cootie a 65, up one. And Brett Cooper is a 66, up one. Barros is 78, up one. Klein is a 78, up one. Guranjeli a 75, up one. Noah White a 76, up one. Contract expiring in 10 months. Now, the reason I haven't renewed his contract just yet is because he wants a crucial first team role and I'm not sure we can offer it to him uh, with the other two centre backs we've got there. So I'm just holding off. If Guranjeli gets to a higher rating, he may accept maybe getting another rotation. So I'll just hold and see how he goes there. Um, then we've got Awazi, 62, up 3. Richie's a 71, up 1. Left backs, we've still just got Evan Olsen. He's only a 70. Uh, Ilion Coe is up 2 to a 71. Henriksen up 1 to a 61. Cameron Griffith, 75 now, up 2. Don San Han up 1 to 72. Elfie Lee up 1 to 76. Gabrich, 72, up 1. Braga is a 63, up 2. Lena out on loan, a 61. Edwards up 1 to a 77. Tommy Martin's up 1 to a 74. Schinkel, 69, up 1. Binhammer, 60. 
66 up three, Kennedy 68 up two, uh, El Masri 65 up two, Guerin is a 76, Chimichuku a 68, Delph is 68 up two, uh, Bernard at 76, up one. Murphy, 65, out on loan, and more. Still out on loan, I think he's back in January and has hit 60 overall. So a relatively small squad. Um, if we need to, there's a couple of free agents of you know 60 odd rating that we could possibly bring in. But at this stage, I'm, I'm quite content with how the squad is sitting. We need these boys to grow and um, just probably looking at a couple of 80s just to just to lift us here through the championship. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. A lot of lads there need new contracts and that kind of stuff. And let me know who you think needs some more training. Right, time for today's player upgrade, and it will be Delphist, uh, the Ibrahimovic region. Not sure what's going to happen with this lad. You know, he could come in and play a real big part in this club. He could just grow into something that we might want to sell off in the future. Haven't haven't really decided what to do with this lad just yet. Uh, we have used the Ibrahimovic region a lot in a lot of series gone by, but you know, there's only probably a couple of FIFAs left to uh, be able to you know use this kind of region. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But make any changes to his number or his kit, and obviously the one with the most thumbs up gets the upgrade in a future episode. Good luck. Right, so the other thing we do need to discuss is what we are going to do with this transfer budget. I've got 9 million here to play with. It's not going to get us the likes of... Uh you know, the, the Robin regen or the the Buffon regen, they're probably looking at 15 odd million at least. So we'd have to sell players and go for them and keep this war chest here. Or do we go ahead and try and get some five star, five star scouts? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section and uh, we'll see what we can come up with moving forward because those scouts will be back from their third mission um, at the end of next month and uh, we can possibly upgrade one or two of them then if that's, you know, what we feel we should be doing. So that is where we'll finish today's episode. Just the two games for you there, but I wanted to get through that squad report, and that generally eats up a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I don't have an issue with a, with an episode being 40-odd minutes here and there, but I just can't have them all that long. It's very time-consuming, and those kind of renders can take up to two and a half hours to finish, which is just dead time for me, which I don't have this week. So hopefully that's not too shabby. Hopefully you can get involved with that squad list. Uh, we sit in 12th, six games down, two, two, and two. We just need to find a few extra goals. Guerin is very, very cold at at the moment and he finished the end of the last season quite cold as well so uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what's happening we still got three under te undefeated teams in Stoke Preston and Burnley they are knocking in goals and that's what we need to do or you know just like what that West Brom game we should have won that we should have won that game against West Brom we've given up the goat um, it's Portsmouth, Birmingham and Charlton in the bottom three. But that's where we'll finish today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Smack a thumb on it if you did. And we will see you in the next one. I'm Spiron DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now. Use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you want to know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on at that website. And if you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.